Welcome to another video of my Name for Beginners tutorial series, Objects. In a previous video, we have learned about tuples, structures in other programming languages. Now we will learn about objects, which are very similar to tuples, but with a few key differences such as inheritance, information hiding, no insertion order, and field uniqueness, as in tuples who have both field names and values the same are equal, but not objects. Here I have both tuples and objects side by side into separate windows for comparison. Here I have the code for the simplest object in M. This is called defining an object. Just like with tuples, which can also be made within a type section. The only difference being that instead of giving it the keyword tuple, you give it the keyword object. In this line of code, we have empty object declaration. Now let's also echo it and run it. Now it displays both its fields, the first one being name as string and default value is empty, so empty string. And for its age field, zero, because it's an integer. This is how object declaration with initialization of an empty object looks like. You can also display this. Echo, O initialization, F6. Here we go, the same values as the one above it. Let's echo this first, echo an object. Let's run this. Here we go, name is John and age is 21. Now let's reverse this. Name is John, age as 21. And run it, F6. Here we go, it's the same because the insertion order does not matter. It does for tuples. Now to change an object's fields values, this is done exactly the same as with tuples. The code is over here for tuples. You just specify the object tuples name dot the field you want to change, then the equal sign and the new value. So over here is the same for objects. So an object which has name is John, age is 21. We will change its name to not John. Now let's echo this. F6. Here we go. The name is now not John, age 21, which we didn't change. There is also a procedure for resetting objects and tuples to their default values. Over here's the code. So an object dot reset, which will reset all of their fields to their default values. Now let's echo this and F6. Here we go. Default value being empty string for strings and zero for integers and floats, etc. Objects and their field names are by default hidden, unlike with tuples, whose fields are by default exported. All you need to do is export the tuple type and you can use them within other modules. Now let me demonstrate this for objects. Uncomment this code. Here we are importing the hidden module, which contains the type connection name, a string, and ID. Only the connection type of object is exported and the name, ID is not. And here we have a variable using the connection type as the object type and name for the field. And then for the second variable, we try to access the age field, which is not possible since it's not exported. And thus Visual Studio Code gives us an error. Now I will explain object field uniqueness. Different tuple types are equivalent if they specify the same fields with the same names of the same type in the same order. Here I have two different tuple types that have same named fields of same types. Over here I have initialized two variables using these two different tuple types. And over here I am comparing tup1 with tup2 for equality. Now let's run this. And it gives us that tuple one is the same as tuple two. Now if, if I try to change the name of a field, it will give us an error. So let's change the ID to I in tuple one and change it in the variable initialization and the comparison can't work anymore. Now let's change this back. Now the comparison works again. Now let's try to change just a value. Let's say this thousand ID to a thousand and one and run this since now we can actually compare. 
And here we go. Tuple one is not the same as tuple two. Now to this demonstrate object field uniqueness, let's comment out this code. And here I have the code, similar code for objects instead of tuples. I've made two object types, person one and person two, with same named and same typed fields and two variables initialized. I also used a different order because you can do this with objects. And here I have the comparison code commented out because you can't compare different typed objects. We can see this by inspecting the error code. Type mismatch got person one and person two, which are two different types, but it requires the same object types. To demonstrate this, let's make the obg2 as person one as well. And now the comparison works. F6 and Windows. And here we go. Object one is the same as object two. And if we try to change a field's value like we did with tuples, you can also do that. And now object one is not the same as object two. Again, you can compare different type tuples, but you can do the same with objects. Objects also have a special keyword just for them. The off operator is used to determine what object a variable is. So let's demonstrate that. Let's use an if statement. If obg1 of type person1 is true, let's echo obg1 is of person1 and then an else statement if it's not true. Let's copy paste this echo is of person1 is not of person1 and let's run this obg1 is of person1 now if you try to do the same for object2 but change it to person2 it's going to error now let's try this so object2 object2 and object2 and here we go it errors because it's not of the same object type Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you liked it. You can also support me on Patreon. If you had any problems with any part of the video, let me know in the comment section. The code for this video is in the link in the description. Have fun.